Hey, Butch Patrick reporting in from a cemetery in Chapel Hill, North Carolina on the campus of the Tar Heels. A lot going on. And hopefully the tombstone that we're looking for will be as easy as to find as this beautiful one for the armed forces and those who served. Uh, it's always an honor to, to ever, to always do a mention for them. And somewhere out there is the <laughs> final resting spot of the godfather of the road trip, Charles Corral. Let's go see if we can find him. My whole premise of doing this show was based on a gentleman that had a TV show back in the 60s and 70s called Charles Corral. CBS, on the road, old motor home, typewriter, driver, and a sound guy. Three people seeing the countryside that I was just in love with. And as we came into the cemetery here looking for his tombstone or his headstone, we're looking and we're looking and we're looking and we're looking and Dale, who's holding the camera right now, says, oh, there he is. So just like up, what's up around the bend, Here's our boy. Humiliated by a 104-year-old man. Oh, he said he was the best, and I trusted him. There you go. <laughs> Nobody could accuse you of uh, wasting any string lately. As I was driving cross country as a kid with my grandmother, who was an antiquer, she drove around in a 1959 pink Cadillac with a little U-Haul trailer attached to the back sometimes. But basically, it was just a Cadillac and a big backseat full of antiques. We stopped at everything. She had to stop for her antiquing, but along the way, I got lucky enough to see all the national parks, all the interesting caverns, the meteor crater, um, anything that was of interest to a little boy and to Americana, I was lucky enough to see firsthand. A painted desert, Zion, Bryce, um, the national park, Grand Tetons, you name it, I saw it, everything. And after that, I really took a liking to this show called On the Road with Charles Corral. Out here on the road, we hardly ever run into any big shots. Just covering all the people who aren't big shots turns out to be a full-time job. You know, even in passing, it looks like someone is keeping Charles up to date with what's going on at his alma mater. Here we have the Daily Tar Heel. I'll put it down like this so you can read it. There you go, my friend. You think this is me? Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's a, uh, papers have gone up, so I'm gonna leave a quarter. There you go, my friend. And uh, if you get a chance, as always, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, like it, share it, make a comment or two, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again. Whittly, whittly, toodaloo. All I want is to stay with you. But here I go. Goodbye. Okay, you know, on the way out of the Charles Corral Cemetery here in North Carolina, and uh, those of you who knew Grandpa Munster well and know of him, you know that he was a huge basketball fan. Round ball, he was actually on a few payrolls as a scout in the NBA. Well, you don't get much better in round ball than college coaches Dean Smith of the Tar Heels. Probably next to John Wooden, the greatest coach. I'm a UCLA fan, so there's people on the, this side of the country will probably consider Dean Smith a better coach. But between the two of them, these guys were NCAA college royalty, Dean Smith and John Wooden. So rest in peace, Mr. Smith. Wonderful tombstone as well, beautiful. Higher knowledge, look, I've never seen one with a book like that. That's very, very cool. So, great trip to uh, Tar Heel country. Here, take my picture with Eddie. And what's your name? David. Hey, David. I have a uh, piece so of So you played Eddie here. Rough Game Monster. That's right. That's cool. Wow. I've seen you on YouTube a hey, lot. look at you, you got, you got tattoos of like a skeleton on it, man. He's a fan. What is your first name? Luther. Luther. All right, Luther, well, I'm glad you enjoyed you the show. You remember that uh, big dragon under the spot? spot yeah. And Fred Grimm, when he made a phone call, he put a lever in a casket. We'll call That's, you, the you know the show well. It lives on, another generation. Right, Take a picture of me and Luther. I'm trying to, my phone's being stupid. Well, we're out in the rain, it's okay, it's monster weather. All right, that never sent a white button. Okay. All right, one, two. Munster cheese. <laughs> Munster cheese. <laughs> you want, you want one real quick before we go? Yeah. yeah. My, my real name is Butch Patrick. Butch. 
How you doing, buddy? All right. And don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, send me a comment because I am reading them all and I look forward to meeting you in person.